Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I will be reviewing the monster Gun XL from level 1 to 130, rank 3. So you guys will see this monster in action, and on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the best skills, the best runes, and everything you need to know about this monster. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash like button, subscribe channel, notifications on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, we have Garn XL here, and this is uh, one of the monsters that you guys highly requested for me to review. So here we go. Um, first of all, let's get into the traits. You have Celestial as one of the traits, which is... Right away, you have access to it. It gives you immunity to stun, uh, mega stun, and also bleeding. So there's also Harden, which is actually quite decent. The Celestial actually comes in handy in some cases, so that's good. Um, rank 3, Status Caster Megaton. This is like really important because having Status Caster Megatons, I mean, these monsters, they actually last pretty long time. Like, take a look at Centurion, for example, you know? Centurion is still used up to this day. Um, but anyways, now that we... Um, Oh, the traits let's go ahead and take a look at the ultimate because i don't want to forget it over energized belly which is a very heavy thunder damage while enemies removes positive side effects from everybody and also applies shock and mega sun now it would have been better if it actually removed positive side effect first and then dealt the very heavy thunder damage that way it would have been better because what if the enemy has evasion or stay time or something like that you know what i mean so you never know but anyways uh, here's the thing, I will be ascending this monster um, using my own cells, so she shanks to my teammates as well for purchasing some gem packs and stuff like that that rewarded everybody with cells, so we do have enough to actually get this monster to rank 3, so we might as well go ahead and do it. So here we go, this is rank 1, this is when you unlock Hardened, looks like I actually got Met Pack out of that. We're gonna go on and collect this, alright, and we're gonna go back, rank up, and we are going to rank up Garnic Cell to rank 2 here, just like that. And now, we are going to get it to rank 3, just like that. 1900 cells, which is enough to actually get this monster to rank 3. So once again, huge thanks to my teammates. Um, but anyways, now that we have the status caster Megatons with all the traits and everything unlocked, let's go ahead and start feeding it up. I've got to say, the um, baby version actually is kind of adorable. <laughs> but then, the adult version, I don't really like. <laughs> um, but anyways, so we're just going to go ahead and feed him up real quick. Get him to level 130 and check out the skills in just a second. So here we go, level 100, just like that. And now we're going to get it to 130 real quick. Just like that. All right. Now, many players will be getting this monster to rank 3 for sure because of the status guessers, just so you start off with that Megatons. But anyways, so now that it's 130, of course, you can see the stats. And I've got to say the stat, like the life, life wise, it's actually good at rank 3. 219k, uh, that's actually amazing. Um, but anyways... So, we are going to check out the relics real quick. Oh, this is actually good. This is good. So, a relic that you can give, if you're going to put him on defense, you can probably give him Tertillion's armor. That would be the best. Witch's armor works for offense and defense. So, if you want to give that, that'd be one of the best too. There's also Morg's armor that works out. And then also Nevitos armor. Um, but, yeah. What I'm going to do is give him a Richa's armor. And then you also have shield, which is really good for a tank. You can go with Drobonaut's shield. You can go with Hammergrim's shield. You can do Wangsu or tenacity now, if you want to do the vandal shield that's really up to you that's optional but heron shield is also viable you could go with that uh, but yeah hammer's ground shield will be probably the best to give okay you can go ahead and stack that up with Richo's armor it's gonna be nice but anyways so now that we took care of the relics let's go ahead and take a look at the skills wall of flesh which is a megaton to itself heals up by 30 percent so this is a must-have skill definitely go with that because in case if the enemy actually ends up cleansing it, you have that skill right there. And also, it's a 30% heal, so why not? War Rumbles, which is a moderate thunder damage while enemies apply shock to all enemies. Okay, that's cool. Uh, that's good against extra turn monsters. You know, you apply that shock, they won't be able to use their extra turns. Unbreakable Punch. Punch, not even punch. So apparently, this applies double healing and evasion to itself. Okay, so this is actually not that bad because you apply this to yourself and then on top of that, whenever you regain your Megatons, which actually heals you, that will basically double the healing, which is going to be 60% in total. Now watch out from any monsters that applies reverse healing because it will be bad for you, okay? It's just saying. Anyways, let's see what else we have. Um, Resound of Fight deals very heavy thunder damage when enemy applies shock and daze. If you want a single target skill like this, go with it. You also have Divine Energy, which uh, heals all allies by 30%, applies a life regen to all allies. Okay, AoE heal with uh, life regen? That's actually not that bad. I'm probably gonna go with that. Um, now, the thing is, you have Unbreakable Punch and also this other one, Grace Punch. You know, this is a 
skill that doubles your max on life and then applies evasion but this one has double healing now here's the thing if you're going to carry any of the healing skills like for example divine energy or the wall of flesh then i recommend you know um what's it called i recommend running the double healing on your side but if you want to go with double life, that basically just doubles the amount of life that you have. This skill, Shelly has it as well, in case you didn't know. Um, I'm going to keep the AoE shock tool, unless I want to make it super supportive. But you always need a skill that will deal some type of damage, because what if it's this monster against another then, you know, and you need some type of skill that deals some damage. So that's the thing. Uh, he has too many good skills to choose from, that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, applies double healing to itself. You don't want this, you don't want this either. But this, I kind of want to equip over one of these. Shall we go with over double healing? I'll go with it, okay? I'll go with it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go with the unbreakable punch over this one, then it's up to you guys. It's, it's really up to you. Uh, they do different things, but they're pretty similar at the same time. Anyways, these are the four skills I'm going to go with, okay? Um, and for the setup here, here's what I'm going to give. You want to give in triple team speed, basically. Triple team speed. That's what you want to give to this monster. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with this level 10. Level 10 again. And looks like I need one more rune give. So anyone that's carrying like a level 10 rune that's actually mated with um, with life, that will actually be very helpful. Looks like this thunder monster actually has it. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be one of the monsters that I will be working on to getting him maxed out very soon. So... Yeah, that's that. Uh, but yeah, we got it to rank 3, and this is the rune setup I recommend giving, guys. You can go with triple team speed. This works out. Make sure if it's mutated with life, that if that is even better if you have that. Uh, if you have any level 10 life runes, then you can go with like 1 life with 2 team speed. Or you can even do 2 life with 1 team speed. That also works out. But this is the way I like to do it on tanks normally. If you have any mutated life runes, then definitely give it. Okay, guys, for the relic slots, uh, for the talents, here's what you can give. Um, in my opinion, the best thing to actually give would be one of the ones that actually heals you. Med pack works very well. Face shield also works very well. And lastly, health gene. If you have health gene, go ahead and give it. So it looks like this after being hit, if the wearer's life is below 50%, it heals a wearer by 75 75,000, right? And this also gives increased healing. Now, if you don't want to go with, um, which am I call it? This, right? You can go with that double life skill over the double healing one okay and you can still give this it works out actually it's a good combo now that i think about it if you have health gene do this go with that and then on top of that go ahead and have the punch the grace punch one so basically you have double life here right and then here you're also getting that um increased healing from this so it's really good um now health gene works out once again med pack also works out in face shield those three i recommend giving um, I'm gonna personally go with this and this is the skill setup that of course I'm gonna go with now I'm just gonna go ahead and pair it up with like a Rand here real quick. We get a level six Here we go um, Alfie all right Alfie what you got? Oh, there's a spectra with the dew completely fine. We're just gonna go ahead and cleanse everything in the beginning Okay, so it looks like he actually cleansed my megaton. So yeah, of course it is kind of cleansable It's not like you have it as a trait or something uh, we're gonna go ahead and quickly. Oh no, you have taunt there. Dang it! I wanted to s eliminate uh, Spectra right away. Oh no, you wait, kicked in. But it's okay. Look, health gene just kicked in. Fifty percent extra healing, and look at that. I just healed almost back to max, right? So that's gonna help you out there. You have that. Go ahead and give it. But unfortunately, one shot, one kill actually eliminates me. So my monster did die there, which actually kind of sucks. Oh boy, AoE trait disable is not gonna work against me. Try again. We have the final judgment, so we might as well go ahead and use this real quick. Just like that. Cool. They're all dead. Um, now, let's get into another match real quick because, um, unfortunately, my monster died right away. And it makes sense. It was like a 130. I wasn't expecting much from him. And plus, I don't have any life greens. I have just team speeds, which is helping out these other two monsters. And, of course, himself. That's a, like uh, that's one of the rune setups I normally like running. Uh, but anyways, his life is actually pretty good too, though. Not gonna lie, his life is actually pretty good. Let's get into another match real quick though. Sam from the Royal Viking. Okay. Face shield there, I see. For the dream team. Okay. So you want to put the dream team instead of going ahead and cleansing everything. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna go on and cleanse everything. Like that. Skill mirror kicked in. We can actually eliminate your attacker. 
And then we still have one more attacker there, so we gotta watch out. Now look, here I can go with my evasion with a double life. So basically, these, especially this monster, can't do anything since it's going in right after. Because it doesn't have any clan skill, and I have my Megaton cell there. <clears throat> so take a look at that. He's just gonna do your damage. Just like that. Speed this up. No damage dealt at all. Okay. So here we could just do like a take a juice. Why not? And then we can actually eliminate the attacker here. So now it's just Mr. Knockdown. Uh, he's just gonna cleanse. So yeah, my Megaton's off. If you want to pair it up with the Hamster Monster, it's actually good because then that way you can um, always cleanse everything and apply evasion with positive pack protection, which is really good. Now I can actually heal everybody here and also apply life regen. Or I can go with my Megaton plus the 30% heal if I wanted to. Just like that. I healed back to max. Which is really good. And here now I can just one tap you with my attacker. So overall not a bad monster at all. Not a bad um, Megaton. I like the fact that it has heal skills. That's actually one of the pros for this monster. The fact that it actually is carrying some heal skills as a Megaton monster. And then you also have a torture there with the, which is shock right. So you ever need that that's gonna help you out and it's also a good way to slow down um extra turner attackers even spectra okay health change just kicked in and helped me back you know getting me to max can we actually one tap this attacker we can let's do it okay now that it's my turn look this monster's going in right after He's, he can't do anything it's my evasion with double life and look look at my life i have 377k that's going to increase now now that I have double life, it's 500, it's actually 755k, but I have 583k life in there in total. Look, zero damage dealt because of that evasion. Really good. So we do this, get some stamina. We're just gonna go with Eternal Wing so I can one tap the healer right after this. Um, we just have to charge up here. I can hit him with, um, well, I could actually heal everybody and apply life regen if I needed it. Why not? Let's do it for fun. Just like that. Algene kick in. Nice. Heal. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, the recharge. Oh, unfortunately, that killed me because it's thunder against, or it's earth against thunder. So, yeah. But anyways, we take down the um, healer, which is good. Now, if I do this, it won't be enough for the thing to kick in, which is good. So, we could just charge up here and then hit you with this. Oh my gosh, no, your face shield. <laughs> ah, okay. That's okay. <laughs> the torches will kill you. I forgot. The torches actually goes through evasion. Um, but anyways, so the monster overall is actually pretty good. Okay. Um, I know lots of you guys were asking for my opinion on this monster. Um, I think it's worth it. Yeah, you could max it out if you want to. If you have Fasarius, let's say you're almost close to maxing him out. You might as well just finish him off, you know, max him out first and then you can work on this guy. Um, so yeah, he will be meta for quite a long time. Um, just like the other Megaton monsters that we had in the past. Like look at Bombetta. Bombetta is still viable up to this day. Then we have Shelly and stuff like that. So yeah, it's going to be viable for a long time. So you might as well max it out, you know? Um, but anyways guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Gems video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash like button, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.